Hello everyone, this is Linda. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. We've been having an overcast day here today. But you know, we did have some rain, but it's all good now. As you can see, it stopped raining and it really didn't rain a lot. Yeah, but listen guys, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I hope you are. Well listen, in today's video, I'm sharing with you, I put down some more garden fabric in two places in my garden. I'm giving you just a little overview of my Moringa trees that I just unpotted. Also, a little history on the Clancy potato. And I did harvest my one of my kohlrabis. I also brought it inside and I shared with you a couple ways that you can prepare it. I did eat it, but yeah. <laughs> I'm sharing that with you all today. But um, let's see, what else I did? And just walking around the garden, yeah, you will see. It's all laid back, you know. So if you're new here, I want to thank you for being here. Uh, yeah, it's very laid back. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, guys, first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 Garden. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started. Jada Circle this morning. Beautiful. Oh, it's waking up. <laughs> It's waking up. Oh yeah. Mm. Go Jada. Go Jada. <laughs> so this is peaches and cream. Yeah, peaches and cream. No, honey and cream. Uh, honey and cream. I went from parts of my garden and added other um, flowers in here. Yeah. So, there they are. Everything looks good. So, this is uh, a kohlrabi over here. You see a lot of her leaves on the ends of brown and dry and chippy but yeah the bulb looks amazing but I'm gonna harvest her this time it's time So she's at a good size. Um, so, what about your kohlrabi? You want her to be nice and big, but you don't want her to be too big because she will get woody if it's just too big. All right? All right, All right guys. So, I brought my kohlrabi in, cleaned her up real good, peeled her, and slice it up a little bit just half of it 
This is raw kohlrabi. And raw kohlrabi is delicious. Now, this is just some ranch dressing I have here. Just dipping. Just dipping. It's so good. It's, I have a little sweetness to it. So, you can definitely eat kohlrabi in a salad raw. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, and of course, I'm going to stir fry that today with some of my beans to harvest. But you also can bake it, roast it, you know, treat it, treat it like it was a potato. Yeah. And... The greens are good. The greens on the kohlrabi was not great, but if your greens look good, eat them. <laughs> so kohlrabi is a brassica. It's more related to a cabbage. Mm -hmm. But it's really good, raw or cooked. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. This is breakfast. <laughs> I just wanted to share this with you. Now, as you go, as you can see, this thing here is just loaded with figs everywhere. She had figs everywhere on her. I can't see, y'all. The sun is in my view. But I know you all can see. <laughs> that's uh, that's the gold. And the purple finally had figs. She had figs on her. Yeah, she had figs. Go purple. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna meet Danny. I know it's gonna be beautiful. I can't wait. <laughs> She and her family, from I understand, is going to go to see a Golden Warrior game, a uh, basketball game. Yeah, she's coming to see a basketball game here. But uh, she and I are going to meet up on Sunday. Hopefully, it will be Sunday uh, that she and I meet up. And. Definitely, definitely, I will take you all along so we all can meet Miss Danny in New Orleans. <laughs> yes, it's going to be fun. But everything is looking good and all is well. Well, well, well. It's this this plant, uh, this tomato plant, this is a, a Kellogg's, I think. They have lots of bloom, but it has no tomatoes. No tomatoes. Yeah. She's getting there. She is getting there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. This is the super sweet 100, and if you can see that, there is tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, guys. <laughs> I've been working, y'all. I've been working out here today. Yes. So I put down um, some more uh, garden fabric in two places in my garden. So I just replanted this mint I found in in the yard growing. So I put it in a pot. So I put the the fabric down here and let me share and there it is over here by these babies they got a little something 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 <laughs> yeah so I kind of doubled the um the fab the, the fabric over here I'm gonna pin them down I'm, I have to go over to Dollar Tree and get some of these little lashes that's what they're called and i'm gonna lash them down but anyway for right now they're doing good everybody is doing good and um yeah this is the way it's looking over here so i had to watch my um my gardener who cut who cut the uh, lawn today but he did a good job. I was watching him like a hawk. <laughs> but he did a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. It's um, another evening. Uh, the evening is looking like yesterday. Like it's overcast. It looks like it's gonna rain, but no, it have not started to rain. So, you know, we just in limbo here. <laughs> My Fuyu persimmon here, there she is, she's in there. So these are my Moringa trees. Now, this is a point where you may lose a couple of your Moringas when you up pot them for the very first time. Okay, so some of them are taking on this, this are potting very well, while others are not. So this one is doing very well. This one is doing good. But this one and this one is not looking great. But, you know, I'm still, I'm still hoping for the best for her. and I'm going to give her all I got but sometimes this is the time where you may lose one or two so hang in there so these are my Clancy potatoes Clancy potatoes from seed and as you can see they are flowering and that's a great sign yeah, so I'm looking forward to these potatoes. Uh, they all in there making, making their little flowers. Very good. We shall see what we have in this container. Very, very soon. <laughs> the Clancy potato. Now, the Clancy potatoes, they are not huge potatoes some of they are light and uh, some of them that have a yellow look to them uh, they are creamy potatoes they even have Clancy potato chips made from these potatoes they are award winning seeds yeah award winning seeds and it is the first award winning seed for a potato so this is cool this is really cool yeah so let's see what we got down in here how many like so there's one two this is a big one right here Looks like about really one, two, three plants probably. But I'm looking forward to it. Hey, Clancy. A true. 
a true potato seed. Ooh. All right, guys, so I'm sitting out here. I wanted to share this with you all. Uh, many of you all may know what this is. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe this, this will help if I do this. Yeah, man. So, if anybody can tell me what that is, that's going to be really cool. So, y'all tell me what... Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? <laughs> what do you think that is? So this was given to me uh, some years ago. Yeah, 